Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Thehre Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the games that I played a few days back. Now I was playing here as black, my open starts off with d4, I go with c6, trying to play the Karukan defense, c6 followed by d5, open goes for e4, and generally you see the e4 move always coming because uh, you have been given that space in the center, had I gone with uh, after d4, if I had played d5, you will not see e4 coming. So trying to gain the maximum center here, opponent. I went with d5 now. Now opponent can trade off here, which becomes the exchange variation of the Karukan. Can advance uh, the pawn, which becomes the advanced variation. Or the main line can go with knight to c3, uh, knight to c3 here. What happens in the game is knight to c3. And here the best move is to take on the pawn so that if the opponent does take, you can develop the bishop with tempo, knight goes back and your bishop goes back because after knight goes back to g3, it's attacking the bishop, so bishop has to move backwards to g6. Here opponent plays f3 instead and I thought, okay, I'm getting another pawn, why not take it? I took it, opponent takes back with the knight, having a better development and an open f file for the attack. So opponent will be developing the bishop now quickly, castling and then trying to attack on the f7. Here I went with bishop g4, trying to pin the knight. Opponent goes with uh, bishop to c4 as expected, trying to attack the f7 square, which will be a long-term plan for the opponent. I played e6, preventing that. Open castles and here I go with knight to d7. Open plays his queen to d3 trying to get the queen active and remove the pin from the knight as well. So here I go with my queen to c7, trying to castle on the queen side because I don't want to deal with the f file pressure throughout. And my side, if I cast on the queen side, my piece will be more better lined up. I can get my bishop onto d6, eyeing this wonderful diagonal with the queen and the bishop battery. Can get my knight out and uh, defend the bishop, can push for the pawns as well. So it would be a good attack from there on, which I can also do. So it will be a good game from there on. Uh, so open plays a knight to g5. It's a nice move. It's threatening to take on the pawn next with the uh, with the rook, and and it is completely good and in favor of the opponent. Uh, what did I do here? I played knight to h6, defending the pawn with my knight. I thought of a couple of options. Bishop going backwards was one option as well. Uh, but then I thought, what if the opponent sacrificed the rook? Uh, because after I then take back with the pawn, so one line could have been if I get the bishop backwards, uh, here after knight comes, if I, so I have to go to the analysis board to show you that line once. Uh, so if I now go with bishop backwards, what happens is opponent can trade. As you see, the engine evaluation is completely in white's favor because now I cannot take. Because if I do, here comes bishop sacrifice, giving me a check. I cannot take, so I have to move the king. And whichever way I go, see this way a fork will come up, so I cannot go there. Best move is to move king e7. Open can develop the bishop, the rook is coming, queen is also centralized. A lot of st stuff hanging, I cannot take the bishop. Is this, this line is completely losing from there on. So getting the bishop backwards was not a right option. And so I went with uh, in the game uh, after knight comes, I developed the knight onto h6, uh, defending the f7. Open uh, now tries to sacrifice the knight. Uh, it's not even a sacrifice because the queen is defending it, but open want to take an extra pawn there, which is a bad move. Now I can place the bishop uh, to f5. Uh, there is no threats happening, uh, and now I'm attacking the queen as well. And if now opponent sacrifices the rook, I can take with the knight. That's why knight to h6 was a good move there. Opponent does sacrifice, but this, this doesn't work because now I get to take with the, uh, the knight as we discuss. Another problem now is opponent cannot move this knight away because if the knight is moved, what happens is the h2 is being attacked twice. That's what happens in the game. Opponent moves the knight backwards, trying to save the knight, but loses on the h2 up and then moves with the king on to the f2 here comes another check from h4 asking open to either move the king or place the pawn forward open pushes the pawn forward and here i go back again with queen h2 
here I'm going to place king to f3 uh, and here again I take the pawn with a check and then I can trade off the queen as well but then I thought okay let me just continue with checks I went with rook to h4 which is another check and it's made in one from here because every other square is already covered thanks to uh, the knight the queen and the knight uh, controlling the square the pawns are controlling the other squares uh, the rank third rank is controlled by queen fourth is controlled by rook so only bishop can come in between and then it would be taken with the rook as well so that's a checkmate uh, in move number 16 yes move number 17 more or less so it was a quick checkmate uh, and so my open hand here uh, went for an, a much aggressive approach without proper calculation sacrifices have to come with calculations you just can't sacrifice your rook for a bishop thinking that open will blunder open has the knight as well look at the pieces what are defending that so making sacrifices without thinking will always lead you to troubles and this was 1989 that i was playing against so not a very uh, uh, easy player to be defeated so it, it was a complicated match could have been much better i expected much more fight but that was it went down like a house of cards pretty quickly i hope you enjoyed the video do let me know your feedback keep watching and sharing please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now and i shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always thanks for your time take care bye bye